Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. Today is Monday. Happy Monday morning to you. I hope that your morning is going well. Hopefully you woke up and you got some sunshine. I woke up and there's a lot of dreariness. Can you tell from the window? There's like a mountain, so it's kind of hard. It's dark and dreary. We have had, I can't complain because most areas, I think as you get older, you complain about weather. <laughs> I must be getting older. Uh, most areas have a drought right now and there's no rain and burning grass. I have a friend that lives in Texas, Miss Barbara, and she's saying how bad it is and how dry it is. And so we have the abundance of the opposite. We have the abundance of rain. It rains every day, every day here. So <laughs> this weekend was one of those prime examples of rain every day. It seems like it's been, it's been a long time. It's been a long time for rain every day. That's okay. It's sometimes it goes in spurts, like just the rain, the sun, the year, whatever it is. So thankful for the little opportunity that we do have that does have sunshine, but today it looks like another cloudy day. I'm like, oh, but tomorrow, tomorrow, I believe it's the only day. Yes, here's our weather. Today's kind of cooler. Tomorrow shows sunshine and the rest of the week there's a chance of rain every single day, but tomorrow is showing rain. So we have plans to go to my favorite place ever, Lake Chocassie, to get out and do something besides rain. <laughs> so that is gonna be tomorrow. I'm like, okay, it looks like sunny here. It's showing 95 there. We're going, so we're gonna have a good day tomorrow doing that. But today it's home. It's kind of a cooler, it's like in the 70s kind of weather. This weekend wasn't too bad. We did, um, what did we do this weekend? We went out on Saturday. Saturday we went out, it was supposed to rain again all day, and then it actually didn't but it was just kind of dreary. So we actually went out, we went to a, an aquarium. We have a local aquarium in our little town. So let me show you some clips from there. And look at this, we got a little tortoise action. Look at him. Tortoise, we're at that museum. That's fun. Oh, he's like people. Look at that. Imagine waking up to him laying on Oh my goodness. Fun turtles. Up and stuff. Where's, where's this guy from? You can find him out in the wild on a small island out near France. Look at these big turtles. One down there, one up here. Big old turtles. Mini tiny. And they look around. Look at how many. Look at that. He doesn't feel safe something else. Right? Just kind of? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, look at that thing. Are you looking? Oh, you see the shark? Over there. Look at that thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, what an uh, eyeball. That egg didn't hatch yet. Or next to his eyeball. Look, that egg didn't, didn't hatch. That's cool. Yeah. States is in Georgia. Oh, okay. Dad, there's a black one. Look at them. Look at that. That's right. Look at that. That's weird. Look at Maddie. Look at his mouth. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Little fish look at him. I see you. You're like, stop. A little starfish right there. And there he is. He was my favorite last He's time. really neat. Look at that. That's really cool. All the stripes. Is that not the craziest looking thing? Fish are amazing phenomena. Here are there. These are bamboo shark eggs. Look at that. They're like doing whatever they got to do to let them grow. And here's the fun ones. Oh, look, look at Maddie. Did you see Nemo in that? Look yeah. at the green one. Oh, yeah, you saw these. Yeah. The yellow one's cool. And then come it's in it's one weird. of their Minecrafts or one oh, of their Oxalot. games. Oh, Axolot. Yeah. This is in Minecraft. Kids would know what that is. How do you say it, Maddie? Axolotl. 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 There it is. You say Axolotl or Axolotl. Look at the seahorse right there. That's really neat. I think it's a water snake. Look at the water snake. Oh, my goodness. Jensen, we found a water snake. That's so crazy. Yeah, I think that is a thing. That's just, bro, please don't eat that. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. No wonder if all eels are electric. Oh, I don't know. Look at that one. Uh, says, look, he's enjoying himself. Grouchy he's, out there. He's getting a massage there. <laughs> the bubbles. Look at these two. He is so colorful. Lots of fish. Yeah. Okay, bubble. Sea sponge. You can like touch everything. Look at that. Look at the starfish. He looked it up. I know. I don't think so. Can you touch these? Yes. Go ahead and lift up, Maddie. 
you are. Flip it over. There you go. Fun. In the middle. This is a whale tooth right here. Oh, look at the face. Oh. Don't you find one? Look at that. Well, honey, the nautilus. And there's, there's a. No, but something crazy. A sweater cut with a mix of a barracuda or touch tank. You can touch them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like that's alive. It's like I'm just trying to. Get a little, you get a little feisty. You'll see. You're good. Go ahead and touch him. Careful. Wait. Came close. Stay just quick. Can touch you bottom? turn him upside down? Feels like an egg show. And if you put him look at this. Down, look at this. Oh, Steven. look at him. Oh, he's a big one. Oh, yeah. Look, their tail will help him get up. Oh, I don't want to touch him right now. No. <laughs> On and off. Oh, it's moving. He would. There's a sea urchin. Very scary looking. Look at this thing. It's a poisonous frog. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at there's it's a worm. It's a worm right there. Oh, oh, is it missing? There's a live worm. Watch the tongue. The time flies out, Dad said. Mom, look, it's a live oh, worm. She's waiting. She just needs to see him and then she'll go for him. You guys ever get to see a close up or slow mo? Her tongue actually folds out. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, I totally looked away. Hold on. Oh, oh she loves these. Oh, they're running away. They are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no. Dude, that tongue's huge. Yeah. Just it up. That's so weird. She'll probably eat this whole container of worms for me today. That one's just running away. And then we went to our county um, courthouse. I think it was a county courthouse. County courthouse museum. I was thinking, is that what it's called? Very cool. So not as exciting for you because you don't live here, but exciting for me because I live here. So I like to learn, again, as I'm getting older, these things are more important to me, the history of places. And so always like when I know we moved here, I tried talking to people and just like, so how did this, how did this? And, you know, just learning more about it because like it's a new place. You want to know all the history behind it. So we got to explore a whole lot of things and learn a lot about our little town here. So let me show you clips from there. That a little history of our lake right here. So this lake summit, it was one of the prosperous. They made a dam there for a mill. That's pretty cool. And there's for oh, Camp Greystone. Old, old train bridge. Yeah. Or the, yeah. The, the Trestle Bridge cross. That's where we, we go. That's funny because we go drive around there. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty at, cool. Notice how there's one house. I know. No, no. Everything's taken up. Many of the people that work there came from local prisons, and many were killed by landslides and accidents during the construction. <laughs> Oh, look at that, the first earliest resident of Saluda. Oh my goodness. Frank Thompson. Good old Frank. That's fun. Maddie's, Maddie's like the fastest. Look at she's best time in last week. That's MGM. Can I go? She's got Oh, you beat it by a lot. She's flying. So it's a telegraph. I'm she moves push up. It. That's pretty cool. Hers. Look at little campers arrived in Texas. There's Oconia. I mean Zircon. Mm -hmm. That's why our town is named Zirconia. Look, that was Thomas a Edison, post right? Office. Did I say? Yep. It was worth $250 a ton. That's, in our post office. That's pretty cool. When wow. they were in there ripping up them. Uh, Zircons and stuff, and look at that. That was that was the modern day uh, smoke deflector. Oh my goodness! Just a tube. <laughs> so great. <laughs> There's no filter in there. There's no filter in there, no. <laughs> That's so fun. Okay, now we're into the Civil War. Civil War. Civil. Oh, look at the money. Look at the money they used to have back then. There's some money. Oh wow! Look at look at their shoe. It's made out of wood. Folding toothbrush right there. A lice comb. Wow. The tea act and the tax on tea. Tea left a bad taste. So guess what? From that time on, coffee became the national drink. That's yeah. right. Still is today. And that's what started the Revolutionary War, right? The they went and dumped all the tea. Tea, out right? Of the, out of the they started the coffee. Ship. Look at that. Throw the tea 19, or 1769, a holy Bible. That's pretty cool. Appointed to be read in churches. Notice not by people, just churches. <laughs> what does that mean? There's tons of camps here. How many do we have here? We have like 50, 63 camps in our area. That's so interesting because I see these on our road and I'm like, what are they for? This is down one of the streets we drive down. Here's where Thomas Edison is shown inspecting the Zircon Mine in Green River. That's where we are uh, at our town. 
that's pretty cool. Roscoe's, this is where Greg uh, works by there. And then they had a fire there, and then I guess this was the only thing that survived the fire. They have it in there. That's pretty cool. Where did it come? Oh, from Look Henderson, at though. Jim, the largest pile of pork living. This is a full scale. That's a full scale. That's how big the pig is. That's crazy. That is crazy. Jim the pig. Biggest pig. I wonder if they're bigger now. 2,415 pounds. Look at that. They got a little baptism at Tracy Grove Baptist Church. That's pretty cool. That's fun. That's so cool. We can go see these places. I know. Let's get that old 1930s buggy there. Or car. Yeah. Look at that. Singing on the ridge. Churches on the ridge. Lots of churches. Lots of churches. Here's Moonshine. Moonshine was big in this area. Look at you. Hide behind the... Oh, sorry, Jensen. Hide behind the waterfall. Oh. <laughs> Nobody find you. No, I'm just kidding. They have, they have to hide. They, they need a cool, it starts to cool oh, water. Oh, I'm just kidding. Cool coils. I'm like, so they can hide. Yeah. So they'd start the fire, right? And then it would, it would like heat up the mash, and then it would steam, and then it would go into like a corkscrew barrel, like that, right there. And that's what they feed that cold through spring water. water through and condense it, and it would turn it back into Make a liquid. Make some moonshine. Get the Declaration of Independence here, which is cool. I can't really see the We the People, the United States Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. Kind of a cool display they got here at the. It's at the um, county Henderson County Courthouse. Very cool. So that was a really fun little weekend. Just if informative which was really nice and just gave us a little bit insight about how our town works and like I knew a few things like we knew a lot of history about our town and most people didn't even know like I know even when we moved here um, Greg would go to work and tell you know the guys at work about places we explored and they're like we've never been there before and I'm like what are you crazy but I think it's like you're a tourist so you come in and you want to do everything but if you live here your whole life you probably don't even know half the stuff that's going on so we enjoy learning about our little environment so we did that this weekend and Sunday was just rain 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 all day it just rained all day so I had to get some work done so I went to Greg's shop and got some computer work done and came back and um, just made a phone call and got to talk to some family for a little bit and just relax and chill that was like the day and we played some Scrabble last night so played some Scrabble and it was like 10 o'clock when we were finishing and I'm like I'm tired I'm out and so I went to sleep but did not sleep very good I slept and then I woke up this morning about 3 30 and I was like Oh, don't do that. So, I don't know. I've been sleeping pretty good, but then just last night not sleeping good. So that was not that was not a good move. So I laid there in bed. I had my earbuds. I have I do my Empower earbuds. So I had one in when I fell asleep, and then when I woke up at 3:30, I put the other one in. Well, I only started listening to a few things, and it started beeping, and I was like, ah. So I must have not had it right in the charger. So I was like, do I lay here and just you know like try to go back to sleep or stay awake for a while and then fall back asleep and wake up at like seven or eight? I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get my day started. So I'm like, you know what? Sleep will be later. Like, if you don't sleep, you know what? You'll, you'll eventually sleep. Like, I'll eventually just go to bed tonight on a time. So that's what I'm trying to do. I got up, got to my desk, and got a lot of work done, which was awesome. Got to do a lot of reading, a lot of Bible studying, things like that. I enjoy doing that. I do enjoy getting up and doing that. And it seems like I haven't done that a lot lately. It just refreshes your soul. Like, you can go on no sleep. Get in God's Word. It'll help you stay awake. <laughs> so just being able to read and just be encouraged and listening to some sermons and some messages and going, okay, yeah, I'm going to have a good week this week. So it was just a good thing to do. So I was thankful to do that. So I got some stuff done over there and then I'm like, all right, I better get moving here today and get started with my day. And Jane went off to work and I'm like, all right, I better, I better start before everybody else wakes up and I haven't even cleaned my house yet. So we, um, there's not, it's not very dirty, which is a good thing, but just got to be wiped up. Got to wipe and clean things up because we live here. It gets dirty. My counters have um, food all over it. I see sticky food but that's okay there's no dishes I don't have any dishes so I'll take the sticky food so I'm gonna clean everything off really good wipe it down or it's gonna be a great day I got laundry I've been doing laundry this morning we had a I'll type out the dryer we'll get to the dryer but yeah it's been a good day we'll chat 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 okay let's go you guys ready all right let's go Okay, when wiping your counters off, if you have a lot of crusted on food and loose food, do a quick wipe with your washcloth and then rinse it off. And then you can go on to spraying it with some kind of cleaner if you want, vinegar, whatever. I bought these cleaners right here for a dollar. So 
it was just as inexpensive as vinegar would be. So I thought, oh, it'd be a little bit more fun because my girls are cleaning and now I'm like, oh, I'll use it. It's the same thing as vinegar. And make sure you rinse your cloth in between. And then I'm gonna spray with my, my uh, vinegar cleaner here and then wipe it off real good. Lots of rinsing out of the rag, but when you have a cleaning like this, just keep going around, rinsing it out. You have a clean cloth every time you do it. I really like Menorix cloths. These are the ones I prefer to use. I still use them. I've been using them for a few years now. It's been a little while. Once I got turned on to them, I like them. I keep going back to them. Just wiping everything down. They just clean really nice. Um, I've got the link, the ones below that I really like using. So it's a favorite. I just use it. It lasts for a long time. When you do your dairy cleaning, wipe off the front of your appliances. You'd be surprised at how much yuck and dirt is on there. I remember when I just first was homemaking, I sat down on the floor one day in my kitchen and I looked over at my kitchen cabinet and I was like, ew, what is that? Because sometimes the bottom ones, you don't usually see everything because it's like below your legs. So you don't really notice how much dirt is on there. So squat down in your kitchen, take a look around and see all the yuck on the bottom. And then, oh, and you want to go even max level? Put your head to the floor and look at the baseboards under your cabinets. Yeah, it, it, yeah, you might never look there again. <laughs> as much as I like a white kitchen, I am glad that I chose gray for the bottom of my cabinets just because of the amount of, you know, dirt that you don't always see. I would be cleaning these like constantly if they were white, <laughs> but just what we have going on in the household. We did have an incident this weekend where ranch just got poured into the refrigerator. That's okay. So I left it. Yeah, I left it. And then I'll pick it up today. We did pretty good this weekend. We did go out to eat on Saturday. So I did have extra food. We never ate the rice and chicken. So you know what dinner is going to be tonight? Rice and chicken. So the kitchen pretty much is cleaned up. I'm going to scrub out my sink in a little bit. It's not filthy. I just rinsed it out. I'm going to give Maxine a bath today. Yeah, she needs a bath. So I like to, um, she's been itching more. I use the the you know flea medicine once a month but you know she goes outside she does her thing so i want to give her a bath but she has been itching more so i got her like an itching shampoo but i feel like i need to spray some of the natural flea stuff on her to see if there's anything on there to come out so we'll scrub the sink down after she's done with her bath but for now i just rinsed it out and then what i'm gonna do is get some vitamin c just because just in case you know last week we had that wonderful little sickness for a few days in the home so been taking some vitamin c powder in my water here just drinking it that way Kitchen's done, let's move on to the dining room here. We are loving our book right here. This is the one I recommended getting. We're still, we are slow readers just because to get everybody, there's 28, we're in chapter 28, to get everybody in the same room at the same time to read a chapter has been difficult sometimes. So when we get a chance, I'm like, oh, okay, let's hurry up and read a chapter of our book. So great, great book. I know some of you have gotten this and I think Amazon has a series for free on Kindle Unlimited. Um, but I bought this one, I think it was like $10, $11. I just bought the second book. That's gonna be at the post office today. So to get that, that's a good thing. Pool shock, I had to move over there. I had um, <laughs> a lot of pool and chlorine stuff, which is good. Last or two years ago, I bought my chlorine for my pool and at the discount store for really cheap. Well, it just lasted and I just ran out just this week. So I need to go stock up on some more stuff over there. I just got shocked because it was getting a little cloudy, you know, due to the rain. <laughs> Love my rain weather, but um, just got to keep up on it. That's all. What are you gonna do? It's like rains every day. That's like the, the wonderful part of it. So Jensen's taking trucks apart. So I'm probably just gonna leave that right there and then I'll wipe the counter up, table up.
whatever. I changed my mind. I'm like, no, nope, I can take this off the counter and put it in his bedroom. So the truck's going back in his room. And it's okay to leave things like a mess once in a while, like this area right here. You put a table up, you just have a place to put things. So <laughs> this all has to go somewhere and do something, but I'm not there yet. So I'm just going to leave that right there, which is fine. That's what you got to do. lots of trash there so I just have to move the trash can away from that area so the vacuum gets over there and cleans it so I'm gonna run the vacuums here pick up the living room as I go My kids all bought me a different candle scent for Christmas, and so I've been using them about once a month. I've been going through them, so this was one from Madeline Poolside, and I'm like, mm, that's a girl right there, loving that smell. So I'm gonna keep cleaning. My desk area stayed really clean, which is really nice. I just pulled this, I pulled, there's a box in my hallway closet, so I had to empty it. So I thought I'll put this here because I will drink this tonight. I really like doing that. So everything is staying nice and clean. I've got it all mapped out. I have that big pile of like, paperwork to do. Let me move over here. Like, seems like, could you stop putting this over my head, Mom? I had that big pile of paperwork to do last Monday in my planner. I went through it all. So now what I've been doing is this is like my future to do list in here. And then I finally have been going through and using up my notepads working diligently i didn't grab the nice pink one like i like i have one more left and i'm like i'm not going to use those so i've been working on filling in my daily on here i'm like even if it's just a few lines i've got like three packs of these so trying to fill those up and use them which has been really good so going through using up what i have that's the key and then i also did <laughs> today's going to be a day that some of you aren't going to like me but that's okay <laughs> so i've been backing up all of our families I had to stop the vacuums because it was going to be too loud. So I've been backing up all of my families. I remember I've been transferring all my VHS over to digital. Told how I did that last week. I got this little adapter right here for like $11 on Amazon. Hooked it up to my $10 VCR. I got it Goodwill like, I don't know, 10 years ago and have been holding on to it. So finally transferred over all the, I think it's eight millimeter. I think that's what it was, the little tiny videotape. So I've got that done and finished. So... <laughs> myself I'm a throwaway I wanted to get rid of the big pile of tapes and the CDs people are say just keep them well the problem is they're like de eroding they're going bad I don't want to hold on to a VCR I don't want to hold on to all the tapes so I backed them all up which is good so what I did is I bought memory sticks I've actually bought this isn't it but I bought like a 128 gigabyte memory stick well 128 gigabytes is not actually what the stick is it's only like 117 so I was like, oh, so I had to use one of these and then like a smaller one. So I did that and then I thought, okay, there's one place to store it. And then I thought, what else can I store it on? So I stored it on my little scan disc cards. So I've got it on here, on two of these here. And then I was like, all right, is that like enough? Like, is that enough backing up so nothing happens to it? Because it's pretty huge. It's like, a, like I said, it's 100, I think it's 128 gigabytes is where, or 127 gigabytes is how much my... Um, files or so then I was like looking up bigger cards SD cards and then you can get a hard drive a terabyte hard drive for $50 so I was like that's it 
that's something new. So here it is. Family pictures and videos all the way back in the day. So my, I'm like, I feel like I'm safe now. I have it on a hard drive. I have it on a memory stick and I have it on the scan disc things. And I'm like, part like SD card. So I'm like, okay, I feel like that is enough for me to go. I can just throw away over here this box of all my videotapes today. I know, scary for some of you. Some of you are like, just hold on to it. The problem is I don't want to hold on to it. The, the key is to put down on the clutter that I have. So that sits in a closet. Again, it's just a closet, but it's still something that's taking up space and something that I don't have to hold on to. People would say, hold on to it because you never know. Well, those probably are not gonna last very good. The quality on those is so bad. Like I know some of the older ones that it was really hard. Most of them weren't even coming through in color. They were just black and white. And then the CDs, forget it. Like the paper was peeling away from those. <laughs> so they're just old. It's like, how long have I been married for? A long time, 27 years. I don't even know. It's a long time, so they're just not gonna last. But I've got three different ways here. I feel like they're safe, and I still have them on my laptop here, just for if my kids wanna go through them and pull some off and save them for themselves. So I feel like I'm good. I feel like I can officially throw away all my old videos. Yes, throw them all away. That's, I know, that's a great thing. So we're gonna do that today, but the desk is staying clean and I'm feeling organized on top of my game. I made like a to-do list and it's mostly cleaning up my laptop. I did some of that on the video, but I've been going through and doing that myself a lot and cleaning up emails and cleaning up files. And then once I've got um, these today's video done, I'll go through and do a, a wipe on my computer, like a clean disc. I think it's disc, what's it called? Clean disc, disc cleanup. I don't even know what it's called, disc cleanup. It's a free thing. It's got a red with a circle. CC cleaner, that's what it is. I was like, what's it called? CC cleaner. It's free, you can download it. It's been really good to clean up my computer. So clean it because I, I have a lot of footage and then I delete it, but you don't actually delete it because it leaves holes and things in there. So if you do the, the uh, CC cleaner, it cleans it up much better. So that's been good. So the only thing I have to do is just clean up phone because I have a few more photos and snapshots I haven't gotten to because I've been busy doing every else thing else. So feeling very good getting that done. So I feel, and I just, <laughs> I wrote down check hard drive again. So I pulled this back out because I had this stored away and I looked it up and I'm like, all right, it shows it's all there. It's there. So <laughs> got it in three places three good places. I feel like it's a good time to throw away the VHSs. I know, it might be a lot for some of you, but for those of you that understand, you know, get rid of, get rid of. That's what you do. So this area's clean. I'm just gonna keep picking up, empty my trash. All right, tons of laundry today. My dryer, I'll talk about it in a little bit. My dryer is doing good. So tons of laundry. I'm gonna go do the bathroom. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so I've been having, um, you guys don't know where I'm at, it's been like seconds for you, but it's been a little bit for me. So Greg um, had gotten up and we had coffee and got to kind of sit and talk about our day a little bit. So I'm like, all right, I gotta move onward to the rest of my stuff. So he just went to the shop and I'm here. So I'm like, let me come in the bedroom here and get laundry done. So I've been the, the bad wife and just had his basket full of laundry for a long time, just literally sitting here at the end. And he doesn't care. He'll just leave it there and just pull the stuff on. He's fine with that. <laughs> so I'm like, I need to empty it today and put the stuff away. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I thought I'm going to hang up all his shirts, get all those hung up here for him. And then uh, the basket can be out and then I'm going to wash my bedding. So dryer is doing really good. I was going to tell you about my dryer. Like, remember, I had the summertime. We got a new dryer. Remember, it was, I loved my old dryer because it was like old school I don't know, gas, or like it's propane, and it like literally would melt your clothes, I know. But it worked that good. So then I got the, you know, the newer ones from Samson and the energy efficient ones. Yeah, and, and just not having so much luck with it. It just seems like it takes forever to dry. I keep changing the vent out, and I'm like, what is wrong with it? So we did some investigating this weekend, and down where the dryer vent is in the front. Like the other ones, you know, usually in the back of your dryer and they pull them out and like there's just that tube and it goes down to your tube outside and that's, that goes outside of your exhaust. Easy to clean. Well, this one, we pulled it out and looked and we changed that. We cleaned the vent out like all the time. 
to get the lint off, but we looked down inside and there was like so much lint, like all stuck in there. And then there's like a, a sensor bar there too to tell like if your clothes are, you know, uh, damp or whatever. So we just wiped everything off, cleaned the inside of that out really, really good. And then um, turn it back on and like it's working really well. Like I've been able to, like I haven't been able to dry towels. I feel like it takes hours to dry towels. So it's been good to be able to do that. So today I've already done, there's like 50,000 loads of laundry out here already and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. And I'm like, yay. And that's a good feeling because it takes forever to do the laundry, it seems like. So whatever we did is a good thing. We just got ordered a um, electric blower, like, a, you know, like the leaf blower. We knew like to blow it out, like for the blower, it helps really good because there's like, you know, big space between the wall outside and in here but we just had the gas one and that just makes it really really stink really bad so the um getting an electric one which hopefully will be here we can take and blow it out really really good because you we can clean it out and it's like new i don't think i ever even cleaned i did clean the other one out maybe i don't know every few, six months or something and this is not even that old it's just a little bit so anyways we will get the leaf blower and we'll blow that out really really well and hopefully that will take care of a lot of the uh the issues it's just a weird design and i feel like it just gets stuck way too easily on the lint. Hold on. Oh, I'm back. So I'm glad to have the dryer working. Let me go hang these out here because it is hard when you're running the Oh, no, there we go. It is hard when you're running your household and you're trying to do things and you know what it's like when you gotta, you're trying to make like if you, you know, your water, draw, dishwasher stops, which is fine. You can live with that one, but you just have to get used to doing your dishes a whole different way. And then so like when you're, your laundry, when you're able to do all your laundry in a day and it works amazing, well then all of a sudden it like takes forever just to do a few loads and then you start just hanging outside and it's so moisture here, like hanging anything outside just smells that mildew because it's so wet because it's raining. <laughs> It's a rainforest. See outside? It's a rainforest today. So I was just very happy to have that be fixed there on my uh, my dryer. So hopefully, oops, did I just rip that? No. Sorry. So did I just rip my pillowcase? So that was, so I was thankful to be able to remedy that situation. So let me get, let me get my pillows over here. Still loving our little blanket here, the Evercool Cooling Comforter. Like to give you updates on things that we have and we still absolutely love it. Still love our mattress bed still love my linen sheets and love this comforter so they it, it's like feels like cold which is crazy so i'm like does that really work does it really last or it's just gonna work for a little bit no it actually does last like right now it feels cold touching that and it's so weird it's the weirdest thing we got this one that i gave one to Jaden as well she's like yeah it's like the greatest feeling ever it's nice and silky and really good so i need to wash this tape but don't wash it and put it in the dryer wash it either hang it um i hang it mine outside to dry is what i'm gonna do so hopefully it'll dry today so but great blanket loving this they always i think they always give me like a discount for you guys so there's it'll be the link below you get 25 percent off a, gr a great concept it's not just like a regular blanket like it's a nice you feel cool so you need some cool things get yourself a blanket so let me take all this off so i can get my bedding washed Okay, I'm gonna get the vacuums going in here so we can clean my floor. Just put away, we're watching a lot of Walton discs. We have the season, we used to have all the seasons, hold on. We used to have all the seasons, like one through, however many is, 10 or something like that, whatever it is, I don't even know what the Waltons is. But we, um, you know, kids and touching and not putting back in their cases, you know, that makes the wear and tear on the, the disc much worse. So they got a little skippy and then I just, I rebought them years ago and then, Everything went digital and you just do everything online, you know, a digitalized home. This is the season, first season. And you can't see because you're getting older, you know, the reflection. Season two, first season. Okay, let me talk about it. So then, you know, then you just, you can't see. And then everything was digital. So I'm like, we're just gonna go digital wise because it's so much better than a scratched DVD. I remember way back in the day way back in the day before they had digital stuff. And I thought in my head, gosh, if they had something one day where you could just load your disc in it and load all the kids' discs and you never, and they'd just save it on there. You never have to load it again. Well, now they have digital. So I was thinking that way back then. <laughs> but they, um, so now our, our internet just does not work. We have just horrible, horrible internet here. Still waiting for some good, uh, 
good stuff and we just don't have it but that's okay what's it'll get there so we're back to watching some discs again because i'm like we don't even watch tv in here these are all season two is that it which one is this season two well, it's all season two so i'd like to one day replenish all these discs i think the last of prairie we did the same thing too we kind of bought a few seasons up but not all of them just to kind of replenish and use them so we'll, we'll get there just something on my list like the, the you know the dvds for the the house eventually get them all done so that's cool so we've got all these here and these are library i bought these at the i got these at the library so when i was at our library i just got some disc here for greg to watch here so this is good all right perfect and we're watching the chosen again too so that's a good thing again i want to get these on i'll get season two just season one we have because of the Internet does not work whatsoever. Parental guidance. I think this is, you need a good family fun movie right here. Good clean humor parental guidance. That's a good movie. All right, there we go. So this is all cleaned up. Now let me go clean my bathroom. Oh, the dreaded bathroom. Okay, bathroom cleans the same every single time. Tub, sink, toilet, floor. It's easy. So let me clean this out real good. Okay, clean my tub out real good. I need to change my shower curtain inside. I like this one. It's a um, the material one, so I can just put it in the washer. <laughs> I bought these hooks from Fast at TJ Maxx, so you have to take off both things to unhook them, which I do not like. I feel like I should just take it off. I should probably do that, and then I have to do it twice. Let me just take the whole thing off. Um, but you can just wash the liner which is great because the other one I'd have to bleach it, fill it up with the tub and soak it because it is just moisture here. And I know my bathroom feels moistery. Yes, we have a fan, we have all those things, but we, like, we live in a rainforest. That's why, that's why it's so wet. But I'm wondering if, like we just have this simple tub, right? I gotta go straight across. So the, um, I could move it up higher. It just, you know how it doesn't fit. You know how the walls are off, so it doesn't fit. But I'm thinking, I wonder if I should get the round one like the half round where it comes out a little bit, just to get the shower curtain off of the side of the tub so much. So I'm thinking, I'm supposed to this all right here. Because this gets yucky. Yeah, let me show you the girls, just from the, the water. So that will get, throw it over there, I'm gonna wash that. So I'm thinking, I'm gonna look and see how much they are at the bars and just get the half moon one. I know they're that much to put in, just make tub life, you know, so much better. So, all right, let's clean up over here. Toilet didn't show you that. I have to clean up my trash can because the um, lid, you know, the bag got stuck down and pushed everything, you know, into the, the trash. So it's all dirty. But I'm going to have to clean it out. Let me use it in my tub here. All right, these are cleaned out. I'm just going to set them on top of my sink here to uh, make sure they dry real good for the day, and then I'm going to do the floor.
they ever come up with a cordless steam mop. I am the first one to purchase that. I love my steam mop, but don't like the cord. done now? Well, let me look through. I've got everything done. Maxine's gonna get back today. I got a few odd and end jobs too. My calendar. Like it's already July. What is it? It's like the 11th or something. What is today? Today is July 11th. It's like the 18th for you. I don't even have my calendar cleaned up here, so I'm gonna clean that off. <laughs> and then, you know, put some things down here. Sometimes that happens. Life gets busy. You know it's bad, we don't even have time to do your calendar, so. I just looked at it, I'm like, I need to change the day in there, so. Wipe that all up, good magic erasers here. All right, these boards, once in a while, they, um, certain markers will stick through and like, won't come off, so use a magic eraser and wipe it up. Don't use your memory, or your, your Norwax, I did that, that was the wrong thing to do, but. That will work really good. Just have that and then dry it off with the paper towel. So we are in July, oh my goodness. July, July 1st was when? <laughs> I have to look back. Do I start, no, I shouldn't start on the 11th, right? I should tell it like July. Yeah, that's, that's bad. Let me go find me a calendar. Huh? Hmm, I guess we'll just do like the third right here. We'll start with the third. Not too much to report in July, but at least I've got July to put on the calendar here. All right, so I'm gonna take a little break from you guys. You guys won't even know I'm gone because I'll be back in a split second, but what I'm gonna do now is kids are moving and doing their thing. They're gonna do their chores. We're gonna read some of our book and we're gonna have lunch. Lunch is all the leftovers. I have in here, um, what's that stuff called? Master chip, not most joy, goulash. We're gonna eat that. I have some hello fresh meals and I also have some broccoli soup. So we're gonna eat that for lunch today because if not, we're gonna have to for dinner time. So I'm gonna eat that today for lunch. We're gonna do our, their chores, do their thing. I'm gonna get myself together a list for what I need tomorrow. We're gonna do the lake day. So I just kind of have to prepare a little bit of what, um, I think, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what I have. I gotta look and see what I got. So, and then we'll run to the store and pick that up and do, gotta do library and post office. So a little bit of running, bring you along. It's gonna be a great day. So I'm gonna go, I'll be back in a minute, I promise. Give me like, give me t two seconds. Wow, where has the day gone? <laughs> Days get busy, don't even, haven't been filming, but it is now later in the afternoon, so um, kids are getting things done. I made myself a list, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run to the store, I'm gonna get hot dog buns, baked beans, a watermelon, bread, milk, and almond milk. That's it, that's my list, I know, big and exciting. So, that was on my list, list for a store, so we can be able to take um, and do that at the Lake Joe Cassie tomorrow. So the kids are finishing up, they're feeding, the, doing the animal cages right now. I've got, <laughs> this is bad, I got sweet potato over here, sitting there in the container. She's like half sleeping. It's the two, <laughs> she's not gonna go in the garage, I promise, but Jensen need to put her somewhere while she's clean, he's cleaning the cage. So she's sitting there sleeping, but it's just a long tube. So I said, just stick her right there, I'll stick it in the trash so it's holding up, it's holding her up. But she's, she's hanging out in the garbage over there, so. She's going back to bed. She's like, where's my cage at? This is different. So they're doing their animal cages, getting that done. And then the other thing we'll do is um, get out the door, run out the door, and I just got to run to the store, bring you along. It's going to be great. So good day. Good day getting things done. Okay, finally made it to the car. They're there. Hi. So we are going to run. Now we got to run to our library, post office. I got to drop a check off for somebody. And then we're going to run to the store and we're going to get Steven some jeans. He needs some new jeans. So we're going to run to TJ Maxx and get those. So we're just going to bring you along. To the kids. Okay, we were driving. The kids are like, we should do a tacky Q&A. <laughs> I was like, a tacky Q&A. They're a tacky. How do you guys say it? Tacky? Tacky. Ta we say tackies, but I, I've heard people say tack. Tackies. And I'm like, what is a tacky? So we're driving. So the kids are, uh, I'm like, well, I can't really do that when I'm driving, but we're getting there. So there, we had a little Q&A. So what's, what's your guys' favorite food? Oh. So Steven, what's your favorite food? Burger King Whopper Jr. Burger King Whopper Jr. Maddie, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is tortellini. 
tort. Oh, yeah, the chicken to pesto tortellini. That's really good. Oh, gosh, I should turn there. Jensen, what's your favorite food? Are you gonna, I'm not here. Oh, Jensen's not here. I'm Sorry. just the voice in the camera. Yeah, what, okay, so voice in the camera. What's your favorite food? I don't know. <laughs> Burger King. He likes Burger King. Yeah, Burger King. <laughs> All right, if you guys were to say uh, winter or summer, what would you pick? Summer. What? Winter or summer? Summer. Um, Winter because it's cold. Winter because I like cold. Winter. I'm summer. Mommy, summer, summer, summer. Okay, what's another question? Favorite summer activity? Um, I you like to go in the pool a lot. Pool, yes. What about you, Maddie? Mm -hmm. Your favorite summer activity? Probably swimming. Swimming. How about Ooh. you, Jensen? Or slip and slides. Slip and slides, yes. That was way fun. How about you, Jensen? Or how about you? Hand with the camera. You know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna ask the questions. <laughs> okay, she's gonna ask the questions. Okay. My favorite activity is swimming too. Swimming at the lake. Do we got another? Cassie. Let your Cassie tomorrow, which we're gonna be there. Your favorite, favorite ice cream? Oh, chocolate. Favorite ice cream? <laughs> I, can't, I, like I, can't, I can't do this one because I'm dairy. I like yes, we're in chocolate. Jensen's got dairy. I like mint chocolate. Mint chocolate. But your favorite is um the Ben and Jerry's. Ben and I like cookie dough, right? Like mint. I like mint. a. No. I, Oh, no, mint. mint chocolate. Oh, yeah. the mint one. You like oh, mint better? For your like experience, tur turbulence. So, <laughs> and my favorite ice cream would be, I don't, I, you know what? I don't know. I'm going to say pistachios. I'm good. playing because I got chocolate. Chocolate. Not playing. That's good. You used to like strawberry. I used to like strawberry, but now I know. All right, so that's our little Q&A for the car ride. Yay. Now we're going to go find some jeans for Steven wait. because, oh, wait. I have another question. What's another question? For everybody. Yes. Everybody else? What's your, yes. What's your favorite color? Steven, go. Oh, favorite colors, man. Mommy. Two favorite colors. Purple and turquoise. Teal. Person in the corner, what's your favorite Person color? Person in the corner, what's your favorite color? I don't speak. He doesn't have a blonde. Yeah, that guy doesn't, uh, the guy in the corner doesn't have one. He's the corner. We're a little Q&A for this. Now we are going to TJ Maxx. We gotta go find some pants for Steven. His are all, um, you know how kids go through phases and they, you know, are getting shorter well they're starting to get shorter so he's one that they get paint on them and he's yeah all his pant jeans have paint a lot of creative work he's very creative and he with his pants which is fine i just need to keep a few pair of pants that are nice so when you take you out there clean so he's one to some boy, like i know some of my boys like to wear pants out like in the summer like mostly like steve would rather wear jeans than shorts where jensen would rather wear shorts colin swears i wear shorts every day in my life yep kind of colin yeah jensen wears them in the winter time too <laughs> Maddie's dresses. So it just Except depends what they like. So they're gonna, so I need to go get some jeans. Hopefully TJ Maxx has some because we're just staying in our little town here and pick up the jeans. We're gonna go see. All right. Ouch. For a second, and then go ahead and shut off. What do we got, mother? We are getting oh, some pants for suit. Right here. No, you're gonna be eight. We're getting eight or ten. I just don't know what size we're gonna do here. We've got some nice pants. So we're gonna try these right here. There's literally two kinds. So it's this, if you don't zoom too much, it's this one. This one. So we have an eight and then we have a ten. I feel like eight probably will fit, but I'm in with the camera. We're, We're gonna, gonna go see, so he's gonna go try these on. Some peanut butter bones for Maxine. Looking through fun snatch with Maddie. Cotton candy. candy and a I thought it was Maddie. <laughs> Cotton candy. We got mother over there looking at uh, uh, Ooh, look how potential oil or whatever those are. We ain't gonna show that. Spices. Chocolate. Gummy bears. This whole thing. And everything's delicious. What are they, Maddie? What? They look like strips of candy. I don't know. They look like uh, sour strips. Yeah, gummy worms. See y'all in a bit. Red Maddie footage. Mommy said no treats. <laughs> The man. Our shorts. Okay, so we're keeping um, this. I think um, this one is good. Okay. And, and then that one is ten. These don't fit. Well, these are the eight. And right. Got some nifty pants. These are, are these the ones that fit? Yeah. Alright, we got a pair of jeans. A pair of jeans, and the next thing he's got some dog bones here. They got some marble. I just showed the, you these guys. Cheaper than Amazon. Alright. Yeah. I got those oh, for tiny dog. We made it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> we made it alive. Mom didn't buy anything except pizza for Steven. No. They have all their fall cute little clothes. I'm like, ugh. Oh. 
Avoid looking for clothes. She just gotta get herself Thanks. some stuff. We just had to get the yeah, we just had to get the pants. We got the pants that we haven't ever seen. I didn't plan on getting her dog bones, but they had them there and they were cheap, so we got those. Now yeah. we're gonna go to Aldi and pick up a few steaks. Get something for Tiny Dog. Tiny Dog. Mom found herself of her first first pillows for the living room, but how much are they? Is it a price anywhere? Oh, fifteen dollars. Fifteen bucks. Yeah, we can get a cover for herself. Two bread. Cool. It's got some hot dog. Some hate dog bread. Got hot dog bread down on the ground. Over here, so we gotta put we gotta put some bread in here. Got watermelon and some yeah, don't bread. Don't the bread. Don't yes. worry, mom. It's, don't it's falling on the soft bread. No, don't, no, no. We don't want to smush it. Okay, three of those. Gotta be careful. All right, let's got it. Oh, thanks, mom. <laughs> Red milk. Oh, I'm calling it. Got sure some. That's all there was. Got some milk for me. The for everybody else. You're out of that. Milk, one. bread, milk, watermelon, hot dog. There's Gatorade. We're good. Ooh, hot dog. Right, Thank you, though. Gatorade. Let's go check out. Yeah, let's go. We just got a, out of um, Aldi. Yeah. The life or death situation. I had to run halfway across the store. Wait, wait, step up, car. Sweetened almond milk and unsweetened almond milk. They're trying know. something new. Yeah, we got, we had, we got vanilla. And I feel like that wasn't good, but then he just got regular. So we're just gonna try it. We can see something serious. It works. Just something, you never know. You never know. We'll try it. It'll be good. It's just, we can mix it with sugar syrup, then it'll be sugary, right? Yeah, because then so I then just you got the sugar. It works. Yeah. It's not a different. Oh, well, yeah. We got ourselves some baked beans. <laughs> we got one can of beans. We got one singular can of beans. Kind of sad. We just got some water. Cause, oh, that's all cooked in there. Watermelon. Drinks for mom. Water. We got all this bread. Bread and buns. We're ready for the lake. Oh, it's just really fun. It's a really fun day and all and all. Where are we going next? We're going home now. Don't Yay. Back we'll see y'all later. Got Maddie's car. Put away your car. Cool. And we got a Aldi. Best place to get food. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Then I put my bed back together. I got blueberry coffee. This is so good. Mm, I haven't had blueberry coffee cream in a while. I don't know why I just limited my access to it. So I'm done. I've got laundry over here. I've got wash. Oh, my shoes are there. I was like, what's in the hallway? Um, the bedding's got to go in the dryer. It didn't rain, so that's a good thing. So most of my bedding sat outside and got dry. I keep walking because I'm getting things. So the rest of my night is going to be flipping laundry because, you yeah, know, that's life. And then I'm going to, um, we'll eat dinner when they, they get home, um, Greg and the girls, and then clean up and then edit today's video. That's it. Make my bed. Make my bed. Help Jensen make his bed, which he can make it himself. So that'll be easy enough. So let me stick this over here. So I'm going to close today's video because I want to start editing while the kids are out swimming for a little bit so I can be finished and not be here all night. So I'm going to drink my cup of coffee, get myself energized, edit. Probably takes about two hours to edit. Hopefully a little bit less tonight. We'll see how the day goes. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, you are designed, created, and selected by God to do great, wonderful things. And once you start walking on the path that God has for you, amazing, adventurous journey. How's that sound? Adventurous. <laughs> All right, have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will see you guys again tomorrow with another video. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.